for the Broncos. Skip your look. In, in order to 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 get a lot, you have to give up a lot. And yes, they gave up a lot. They gave up players. Noah Fan is, a, is I, I would say, a, like the bottom of tier two. Uh, Shelby Harris, I love Shelby Harris. He's a solid defensive player, Skip. Can get to the quarterback. He bats down a lot of passes. He's a solid, he's a team leader. I like, I like him a lot. But unfortunately, in order to get a guy of Russell Wilson's caliber, you had to put those guys into the trade. You give up two number one. Seattle almost had to do this deal, Skip, because remember, they don't have a first-round pick this year. That goes to the Jets in the Jamal Adams trade. So now you get the top ten pick. The Broncos had the ninth pick. Now that goes to Seattle next year's pick. Now, if Russell Wilson is what I believe he is and this team is what I think they can be, that should be into the the high 20s, hopefully at 32, which would be even better. You give up two twos, but Skip, this is a quarterback league, and the Broncos weren't going anywhere. They had 11 starting quarterbacks since Peyton Manning decided to hang it up. And in order for you to be successful, and it's like, look, you look at our defense, Skip, they still got to keep the lion's share of their defense. They gave up the third fewest points in the NFL last year. Their problem was scoring. It wasn't stopping people from scoring. But in order to win in this league, you have got to produce points. And I'm, you know what? I was looking for one of those shirts, those John Sneed shirts. F them picks. Mm. F them mm -hmm. picks. Less Sneed. Less Sneed, excuse yep. me, Skip. Less Sneed. Yep. Forget them picks, Skip. I hope, I, I hope Seattle is able to refurbish, you know, restock their coffers. They can let Bobby Wagner is also going. Hopefully he comes to the Broncos also. But, Skip. Is, is Von Miller coming back? <laughs> is, well, they still got 20, they got 24, 27 million dollars yep. uh, under the cap. So they can go out and be a major player, get mm -hmm. a pass rusher, get a guy like a Von Miller or, yep. who knows, a Chandler Jones or even a Bobby Wagner. Mm -hmm. But, Skip, you look at the offensive weapon. Weapons, Jerry Judy. I believe Jerry Judy is ready to take the next step. They just got to have a quarterback that's consistent. And Russell Wilson is a model of consistency. The second most quarterbacks through his first 10 years, 292. Peyton Manning had 306. Cortland Sutton, Tim Patrick. The offensive line is much better in Denver than what he had in Seattle. Mm -hmm. I believe the defense is better than what he had in Seattle, especially the last couple of years. Now, we know the Legion of Boom. We know what that is. But, Skip, I love this trade for the Broncos. The Broncos <laughs> run this trade. George Patton said, look, it became very clear, abundantly clear at the Combine, that the Green Bay Packers was going to blow Aaron Rodgers away with an offer. He had felt very comfortable that he had, they had made the concession that they were going to make, and Aaron Rodgers was going to go, go back to Green Bay. Mm. Skip, you can't be like, oh, damn, now what do we do? Let's pivot. Mm. Pivot was Russell Wilson. I like that. Russell Wilson's 33. So that means that we can have Russell Wilson for another, what, five to eight years? Yep. Because he said he wants to play until his 40s. Mm -hmm. But, Skip, before I'm just going to just throw this in there. You remember how uh, Harry Roseman was talking about they, was, they were sold on Jalen Hurts? Did you know they was in the bidding? They, they tried to bid for Russell Wilson? Mm. And he wouldn't, he wouldn't wa waive the no trade. Tra I, I did not know that. Yeah, he wouldn't waive the no trade. Okay. He, he controlled the pie. Anytime you have a no trade, Skip, you really have the power because guess what? Some teams might have had better offers. Mm. Washington might have had a better offer. Philly might have had a better offer. Yada, 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 team X, team T. But at the end of the day, the Broncos... Hey, remember, there was only one team that Russell Wilson signed off on because he had a no trade. There you go. See, Thank you. There you go. And, and that's what it comes down to. And that's not a bad situation. You look at Javante Williams, Judy, and Cortland Sutton, Skip, they... The Broncos are going to be, but you need that, Skip. You see what's in the AFC, mm -hmm. just in that, just in that division. Mm -hmm. You got Mahomes, you got a uh, uh, Herbert, and you got a uh, uh, De De uh, David Derek Carr. Yeah, the AFC is loaded. The West is loaded. Mm -hmm. This might be the best division in football. I don't know if we've ever seen a division like this, Skip, with the quarterback play to this level. You got Mahomes, Herbert, and Russell Wilson, who's gone to two Super Bowls, who's won one Super Bowl. Mahomes has been an MVP. Go. We made your players don't, don't sleep on Derek Carr because he's pretty good. He is. And he, they did make the playoffs last year. Think about that, Skip. He's very good, but he's the fourth best quarterback in that division. He is. I give you that. <laughs> I must address your quick point that you just tried to slip in the back. What I tried to slip in there, Skip? Jalen Hurts point. I love Jalen Hurts, but you if do. you give me a choice, <laughs> Russell Wilson or Jalen Hurts, I'm taking Russell Wilson. <laughs> I've told you Jalen Hurts is Tebow-esque. In, in some ways, he's better than Tebow because he throws it a little, a little better, better than, yes. than Tebow mm -hmm. threw it, but, but they, their dynamic is the same. Right. But again, if you say, want Peyton Manning or Tim Tebow, I'm taking Peyton Manning. <laughs> so in this case, if you say Russell Wilson or Jalen Hurts, I'm taking Russell Wilson, and you just got Russell Wilson. Yeah. And what do I sit over here day after day and tell you?
It is a quarterback's yeah. game. And no price is too steep to there, give him to get no, it. Listen, seriously, from my heart of hearts, there are only a handful of quarterbacks no capable of taking a team to the Super Bowl. Now, there is the Trent Dilfer syndrome right. where you can, as a Baltimore Raven, go win a Super Bowl with Trent Dilfer if you have maybe the all-time greatest right. defense, right. Right? right, in an era when defense still prevailed. Right. You can't Correct? do that now, Skip, because they don't, okay. let, you, they don't let you play defense okay. like that. I, I got it. There is the Brad Johnson syndrome. Once upon a time in 2002, Brad Johnson led the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and I put quotes around, led them to the Super Bowl right. because our man Derek Brooks would argue with Ray, your man Ray Lewis that that defense was even better than the Ravens' defense, <laughs> he, he, right? He, yeah. Okay, so that was the era where defense could rise up and say, we are going to lead this team to a Super Bowl. Correct. To your point, you can't do it anymore. Mm -mm. You have to have one of the top tier quarterbacks to lift you and lead you to a Super Bowl. Correct. So no price is too steep. Yeah. It just doesn't matter, which is why your Denver Broncos just pulled off the steal of the century. Mm -hmm. This is flat-out highway robbery of Russell Wilson. I still can't believe it. I, I slept on it, and I thought, I'll wake up, and it'll be just a bad dream <laughs> that your Broncos are back in business. Right. They are way back in business because yeah. look at what just happened to the odds. They just vaulted, as we just pointed out, all the way up to the fifth best odds. That They're all the way up. They went from 20 to 1 all the way up to 12 to 1 just because they got themselves a quarterback. Got to have it. And to your point... The defense is, I was going to say top five, but to your point, it's its maybe top three. Mm -hmm. And I believe it's only going to get better. By right. the end of this coming right. football right. season, it might be the best defense in pro football. You're right, Skip. Third fewest points, third fewest yards. But you just can't and, score. And, Skip, you and can't they're really... young. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Patrick Stan, that. I wanted it. Yes. You got it. Yes. Okay. Yes. So I give you all the above. And I'm not saying you have all-time great weapons, but you have legit weapons. Young, solid. Weaponry, yes. where you can say you got those three receivers you right. mentioned, and you got that young running back that you mentioned, and you have a much better offensive line, to my eye, than Seattle oh, has yeah. had yeah. for like six, seven right. years, right? Well, Skip, think about it. Those young receivers got a lot better. The Derek, Demarius Thomas, rest his soul. Eric Decker, those guys got a lot better. Yeah. Once Peyton Manning was throwing to him. Okay, I got it. I got Julius it. Julius Thomas. And, and it will happen. Yes. And these deals don't come available. It just doesn't no. happen. No, they don't. And the, the weirdest thing to me was that Russell Wilson sort of started going James Harden last year yeah. in Seattle. He started... To, I'm not saying he quit, but but he was giving less than his best because his heart, for whatever reason, was no longer in it. Well, he Skip, was we, clashing. What with did his agent Pete do? Carroll. His huh? agent skipped before la before the season started. He listed four teams that if you wanted to trade him, yeah. my client would be very very open to going to those four teams. He we did. we we never heard that before. No, Skip never heard that. So it was James Harden esque <laughs> in that he was forcing his way right. out. And again. Pete Carroll had – the irony of this was that Pete Carroll sort of bet on Russ in the beginning because the turning point of the whole franchise, as we talked and talked about, was Russell's interception by Malcolm Butler. Let's quickly see that play if we could, if we have it handy at the end of that Super Bowl. This was life-changing for yes. the Seattle Seahawks, yes. obviously. There it is. I didn't think it was a bad throw. I didn't think it was a bad idea. You did, but again – it's actually a very good throw. It was just a, an all-time great break on the football. Yes, yes. By, by some kid from West Alabama we'd never even uh, heard of. Undrafted rookie. Right, an undrafted rookie who wasn't even in the starting lineup or in the game until right. the last two, three minutes, right. right? Yep. Okay, so the point was they put the ball in Russ's hands, and a lot of people on the other side of the ball, Legion of Boomers, they thought that, that, that actually, well, it should have been beast mode in their eyes, right. but they, they thought that Pete Carroll was trying to make Russ the MVP, MVP. of the game yes, and yes, take the yes. MVP away from beast mode, yes, right, yes, from Marshawn yes, Lynch. Yes. Okay, so everything turned on that one play, but yet the irony was that as time wore on, Pete Carroll resorted back to what he was, which is meat and potatoes football. Right. We run it first, and we play defense, right? right? Yes. And I, what was the big theme in Seattle? Let Russ, Russ cook. cook. Let Russ cook. Right. And Pete Carroll wouldn't, for whatever reason, quite let him cook because he kept 
falling back on, we've got to establish the run first. Well, Ruska was only allowed to cook, Skip, once you fall behind by 14, fall behind by 17, and because his line was so bad, he had to do everything with improvisation. There was no play where Russ just dropped back, hit uh, five, uh, five steps, hit, throw the football. He had to pirouette. He had to juke one guy, run around. Okay, yep. I'm going to the left. Now nah, he's closed over there. Come back and yep. throw the ball down the field to lock right. it or throw the ball down the field to curse or some of these other receivers. Skip, you can't, you can't win consistently playing football like that. And you saw the Rams. Skip, the, the Broncos won this for the simple fact. You, they, the, uh, Seattle didn't get a quarterback of equal value. Mm -mm. Unless you get a quarterback, and Skip, if you were to swap, let's just say you swap my, uh, Burroughs and Herbert, you're like, damn, that's a tough one. Because they're, they're, they're pretty close. They're both about the same I'll, age. I'll, I'll buy that. But yep. when, you get, when you get Russell Wilson, and yep. in return you take Drew Locke, now maybe you're going to take a quarterback with the ninth pick. Maybe that's the direction you're going. But if you don't have one of those guys... Nobody in the NFL over the last five or six years plays defense well enough to uh, compensate for poor quarterback play. Yep. You've got to have that. You don't have Matthew Stafford. You're not winning that game, Skip, because what did it come down to? You're down, and you got five minutes to go get a touchdown in order to win the Super Bowl. You have an average quarterback? That's not going to happen. Not going to happen. Well, you won't even get to that position <laughs> exactly. to start with. At the end of the day, look, look what was in the playoffs. Look at all the quarterbacks that was in the playoffs. Number one overall pick, just uh, uh, Joe Burrow. You had a number one overall pick, Matthew Stafford. Yep. We had Tom Brady. We had Aaron Rodgers. Number one, number one, number one. Number one. You see yep. a real current theme, Skip? You got to have that position in order to go places. You just have to. <laughs> the game is rigged for the quarterback. Yes. E even if Russ takes off running, it's rigged for him to be able to run because he can slide, slide. and you can't touch him. And he him. does a very good job And of as that. you always complain about the GOAT, Tom Brady, <laughs> you, you can't touch you can't him. him. You can't hit him anymore. Okay, so the game is, is geared for the quarterback to prevail. Right. So to me, Drew Locke, I said it before the draft, he, I'm sure he's a fine young man. I just never loved him. Right. I don't love his intangibles. I, he, he's got ability because he's tall and he's got a big arm, but, right. but he doesn't have that it right. factor. I'm sorry. So no Drew Locke makes all of a sudden the Denver Broncos a lock right. to win the West to me because you got a quarterback who wants to be there. Right. Because last year, again, I'm not saying he was quitting, but he had a, a – a, Career low QBR Across fell to 55, and for the first time in his 10-year starting career, he got hurt, and it was a middle a finger, yeah, yeah, you know, where he hit his hand hit, and, and it the tore the ligament into his middle finger, mm -hmm. and so he missed three games. But he did come back and try to play, right? And yet his record as a starter last year was six and eight, and it never looked like Russ. I kept right. saying, "Where is he?" Right. Heart not in it. Right. I don't know why, and it wasn't like. Again, he's got a celebrity wife, great, and, yeah. and and we kept thinking, well, does she want out of Seattle into a bigger stage market, maybe go to Las Vegas or it, whatever big stage it would be, L.A., New York, New York kind of yeah. a market. Mm -hmm. But the point was, <sighs> Seattle versus Denver, I've spent a lot of time in both cities. You obviously lived in one of those mm -hmm. cities. They're, they're sort of the same to me. I like them both. Right. But I don't like one more than the other because Seattle's a great place to live. Really? So it's weird to me that, that Russ would say, I will sign off on going to Denver because the market is not better for her than the Seattle market. No. It's just the same. You know Denver. Right. And it's, it's really it's a great place to live. So is Seattle. Right. Seattle has a whole lot of mm -hmm. advantages. Yep. And now the 12th man, the poor 12th man, it, it was such a great place to play. It must feel like the 112th man <laughs> now because they're saying, what just happened? Right. Our odds just plummeted in reverse. We fell all the way down to 70 to 1. We have the ninth worst odds to win the Super Bowl because no are you going to go forward with Drew Lockett quarterback? No, I guess. I don't, I, I, I don't know. Are you going to take Malik with that, that the, ninth overall pick? Are you going to take the picket with They do have a quarterback on the roster. I think uh, is uh, Geno. Yeah. Is Geno still on the roster? He's still on the roster. But, I, Skip, okay. I, I, don't think you, I don't think you go forward and try to go very far with him. But the question, and you make a very good point, what are you going to do with the ninth pick in the draft now? Okay. Are you going fine. to get a quarterback? But, but even if you take one of the kids, you're starting over. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. You, oh, you start, yeah, yeah it's, okay. it's over. It's, and I'm, you're I'm, definitely starting I'm glad over. you brought up Les Snead because this is F them picks. That's exactly <laughs> what it was. And, and, and you can't tell me that George Payton wasn't looking at what just happened with Les Snead saying, that's it. Right. That's the new blueprint right. is who cares about these picks? We just got Russell Wilson. He's, he's not 
43. He's 33. 33. Yes. Well, well, that's pretty great. Right. And he's been incredibly durable, except for hit, uh, the accident that uh, he hit his little accident. finger on a helmet. Skip, if I'm a general right. manager, Skip, and I got a chance, I'm going to go to my owner and say, sir, we've got to do this. I understand that we're giving mortgage and a lot of the future, but we have no future if we can't do anything in the present. That guy gives you an opportunity. Yep. Now, watch how the fans get rejuvenated because they got something to cheer about. We have a quarterback. Granted, it, you, you go for you when you have Elway for 16 years and you have Peyton Manning for four years. Damn, you, you got two of the you got two top 100 uh, players of all time in the history of the game. And then you go Oswald and you go Paxton Lynch and you go this one and that. Nigga. Well, you go 11. Yeah, you go you have 11. 11 starting quarterbacks. Since, like, hold on, wait a minute. We're not and, using and this. Time out. Since Peyton won Super Bowl with 50, 50, yes, you haven't made the playoffs. Na not even you come close. Not playoffs. even come close, Skip. You haven't even come close to making the playoffs. No. and you just got Russell Wilson for to me a song. And, and those players you mentioned, okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. But to me, Noah Fant and and your other guys, they're just guys okay. to me. I, I you know Shelby you Harris have. is not they're. They're, Shelby Harris has come and they go. Yeah. And he's a nice player. Yeah, yeah. But Noah he's fans solid. come and they go. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And he's, trust yeah. me, Drew Locke's definitely come and they yeah. go. And all those picks are fine, but they don't add up to a hill of beans when you got Russell Wilson back. And this is what I love about Russell Wilson. You avoided the Aaron Rodgers trap to me because I still say Green Bay is stuck in the Aaron Rodgers right. trap. I don't like Aaron Rodgers in the postseason. He had one miraculous road wild card right. run to the Super Bowl 11 years ago. Yeah. They got hot. He had a couple of hot games. He also had a couple of cold games, and they survived it, and they went and won the one Super Bowl that he ever got yes. to. Since then, obviously, he's 7-9 and nine in the postseason. That guy beat Aaron Rodgers this in a playoff game. This guy beat Aaron Rodgers in a home playoff game. This guy, Russell Wilson, is 2-0 and oh in AFC Championship NFC. games. In, in, I'm sorry, NFC Championships games. And, and Rodgers is now one and four in right. NFC Championship right. games. So my point to you is it did come down to what I say were guts because I believe Aaron Rodgers wanted no part. He was just using Denver, blah, 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 you know, quote, unquote, for leverage. Right. And he won in right. Green yeah. Bay. He, yeah. he yeah. did it again. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. He kept losing big playoff games at home as the number one seed, uh -huh. and he won the biggest contract, we think, in the history of pro football. Yes. I think he wanted no part of having to follow Peyton Manning and be the savior in Denver. And look what Russ did, just did. I'll take that. Yeah. Because Russ is looking at that roster like Tom Brady looked at Tampa's roster, mm -hmm. saying, wait a second. Mm -hmm. Th th this is a sleeping giant yep. of a roster, yep. right? Because yep. all the pieces are in place. For me to step in the door, now I got to do my part and live right. way up. Right. But he is ready to live way up to huge expectations. Mm -hmm. And I'm putting expectations on them because I think they should be favored to win the West. I believe they will, given their, you know, given injuries, obviously health right. factor. But I believe they will win the West. And I need to see what else they do. Does Von Miller go back there? Right. D to your point, does Bobby Wagner say, I'm going with my guy because right. they came in together in the right. same draft? Right. Is it possible he winds up there? It's possible. Mm -hmm. In the end, they just might be the best team in the AFC, even though the odds say, the, the Super Bowl odds have Kansas City and Buffalo at right. one and two. Right. And then you go to the two NFC teams. You go to Green Bay and L.A. Rams right. at three and four. Then five is Seattle. Six is Dallas. You mean five is Denver? I mean, no, I'm sorry. Five is Denver and six is, is Dallas. Mm -hmm. So the Cowboys are still hanging in there, and it's the, that seems way too high for them. <laughs> that's just me. But the point is that all of a sudden you went – you're not just back in business. You're, you're back in, in the thick of it. Right. Right? Yes. Because of one snap-your-fingers move on one day, it, it's one of the biggest acquisitions, if not at the top of the list. Right in the history of the league mm -hmm. because all of a sudden you got a quarterback who has been to two Super well, Bowls and and nearly won both of them yep. and played well enough in both games to win. Obviously, he, the first one was just a complete uh, yeah, yeah, they, yeah. Right? They, they did a number. He's the first guy to what? Start, win a Super Bowl against yep. one team and then later join that team. He did. Uh, join that team. Yeah. But, Skip, you know, I want to commend uh, Joe Ellis also, who's the executor of the Broncos. Yep. That's, they're going to about to be sold. But you got to sign off on something like this. 
Somebody had to sign off on this. This is not just a George Payton. Someone had to George, George Patton, excuse me, not Payton. No. George Patton. Someone has to. Is, I think is it, it is. Payton or Patton? I, I think it's Payton, but go ahead. Whichever way. <laughs> George Patton sounds better because it sounds like he's I, I, a general. Well, Skip, I think, it, I think it's Patton. I think he spelled it P A T T O N. I, I think that's the correct way. That's the way he spelled it. But to sign off on this, and it seems, Skip, and when you look at it, you're like, damn, they gave up two ones, two twos. They gave up three players. Two of, two of those players are starters. Like, so, 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 you got Russell Wilson. You got a proven commodity All right. at the most important position. There's no other, there's no better proven commodity than a quarterback. Okay, final point. There is one X factor with your Broncos. You have a new, unproven, pretty young head coach. Yes. Nathaniel Hackett. Yes. He's 42, so he's not 32. He's right. 42. Right. And he has been a coordinator at the highest level yes. for a couple of teams. Right. My point to you is there's some Shanahan effect going on here mm -hmm. because his father I'm very close to is Paul Hackett. Yep. And Paul will have a lot of offense. Listen, Paul has offensive genius, and I know Mike does too, but it's different. Right. Paul's a little more wacky creative, more, right. more mad scientist creative. Yes. And Nathaniel will bring some of that to the table, and Russ will like that because he will let Russ cook and cook and really cook. Right. Well, so my, my point is it's like Mike Shanahan is the advisor to, you, to Kyle in San Francisco so will Paul be the advisor to young Nathaniel? Well, hopefully, Skip, if, we, if, if, if the theme keeps reoccurring, if we can get some Zach Taylor, if we can get some yeah. Matt LaFleur, if we can get a couple of these other guys, that, if Nathaniel Hackett can do that, mm -hmm. we're going to be in the money. Because we've seen like, the last couple of coordinators that they've hired, Zach Taylor and Matt LaFleur, they've done okay, Skip. They've done okay. Yep, I think you just did really you Guys, okay. this was a major domino piece that the NFL world was waiting to see fall. Now we'll see where everybody oh, no. else files in. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show. And be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.